Foundation is one of gratitude to God Almighty and uh, to the judiciary of our country. I appreciate the support, uh, the steady support and solidarity of the people of my and, uh, I want to thank all Nigerians of goodwill and also the parties who have been calling to express their concern and now calling to show their support and solidarity and to offer their congratulations. Uh, like I said, the judiciary of our country has made this possible. And let me use this opportunity, particularly in the light of recent events, to make a plea uh, to all Nigerians, and particularly to all persons in authority, to show support and encouragement to our judiciary. Because the judiciary is the only institution that has the responsibility and the capacity to resolve disputes at the level of individuals, at the level of one institution against the other, and particularly in a political dispensation. The judiciary is at the heart of our democracy. The judiciary is a pillar of stability of our nation. And once the judiciary is attacked, once the judiciary is um, humiliated, once the judiciary is rubbish, once the judiciary is made to feel insecure, once the judiciary is intimidated and an atmosphere of fear is created in every court to the extent that every judge will be thinking of the consequences of what, what, what may happen if he gives a ruling or refuses to give a ruling. Or we indirectly create a scenario by which judgments have to be cleared, more or less, before they are delivered. That will be the day we should all say bye-bye to our democracy. That will be a terrible day for the stability of our country. I'm aware of the concerns in terms of improprieties by judicial officers. But these are things we should all be very careful in handling. We should handle them, but do so in a manner that will not tear down the entire judiciary as an institution. Because like I said, the judiciary is at the heart of our democracy. And the judiciary is a strong pillar upon which the stability of our nation depends. Because if the judiciary is no more, then there will be lawlessness. So today, I dedicate this um, final judgment of the Supreme Court. This is the third one in a series of judgments. First was a unanimous decision of the election petitions tribunal, unanimous, dismissing my opponent's petition as one lacking in merit. And then they went to the Court of Appeal, and a five-man panel of the Court of Appeal also dismissed the appeal as lacking in merit, unanimously. And today, a few hours ago, the Supreme Court of our country, a full court, sat to examine this petition and unanimously once again dismissed the appeal for it. Now, while I'm grateful to, the, to God Almighty and to the judiciary for living up to their responsibilities, while I'm grateful to the people of Bayelsa and to all people of goodwill for the encouragement and solidarity, I'm also very sad that in our nation a man can lose an election clearly before the entire world, before the entire state, before the entire country, and still have the effrontery to go to court for a year to create distractions with all the attendant uh, costs involved. Uh, this is a lesson, and I believe that we politicians should learn to accept the verdicts of the people. Once we present ourselves for an election, we should be contented with their verdicts and prepare for tomorrow if it is not favorable. Instead of people losing popular elections and then trying to manipulate the system to somehow expect that what the people did not give to them, they can get by hook or crook through the judiciary or any other institution. It's a very sad day for our democracy. And I believe that uh, with time, we will, um, our democracy will mature and participants 
politicians, office seekers will mature to the point when they will accept the verdicts of the people um, as binding. I want to thank you all, members of the press, for following all these proceedings. Um, uh, my government is open. Government is open to all Bielsans, irrespective of political uh, persuasion. Um, my opponent, once again, is invited. I extend a hand wow. of fellowship to him again. Wow. Instead of distracting, Ooh. instead of creating confusion, instead of disrupting the peace and security and stability of our state that we are trying hard to be, Bayelsa needs everybody. I invite him, I invite all members of the APC, now that the election issue has been put beside us, let us join as brothers and sisters, as fellow Bayelsans, to build a Bayelsa that we can all be proud of. When the next general elections come, if we do not agree, we are free to present ourselves and various candidates before the people. But between now and the next election, I expect and I invite them all. Again, I've done so before. A number of them are already serving in my government. I want to use this opportunity again to invite them to work with us in solidarity for the sake of one by us.